What's up guys, this is Rahul with MySmartPrice.com and uh, today I have the Zook Z1 here with me for unboxing. Now as you might be already aware, the Zook uh, Z1 is uh, an offshoot of uh, Lenovo. Now the Zook brand name is owned by Lenovo and uh, while they have a standalone uh, presence in China, in India the Zook series of smartphones will be launched uh, co-branded along with uh, Lenovo. So uh, this phone for example will be known as the Lenovo Z1 powered by Zook. So they are not completely using the Zook brand name in India maybe because of the uh, rather low brand recall the brand has in India currently. Uh, this is the Zook Z1 the first of the smartphones from the Zook uh, series to land in India. This phone is supposed to be made available starting uh, May 10th. This is not a real unboxing video because uh, the box itself uh, is not was not sealed when it uh, reached us. So this is what the handset looks like. Uh, before I go ahead and check out the handset in detail, I'll show you what else comes inside the box. We assume this is the retail box uh, that would be coming to India. This uh, it would be somewhat similar. So inside the box, apart from the phone, we have this SIM ejector tool placed right at the top. And this seems to be the user guide. Apart from that, we are left with this uh, USB type C cable. And apart from that, we only have the charger, no sign of uh, any earphones is in the box. As you can see, this is not the Indian retail version because the charging outlet has a different uh, plug point. So this charger is rated at uh, 2.5 ampere, I believe. Yeah, it's 2.5 ampere. So that is all uh, what we get inside the box of the Zook Z1. Let us now check out the Zook uh, Z1 in detail. So this is what it looks like. Uh, it comes wrapped in this plastic coating. I'll just remove it. There is also a screen protector at the front, which I uh, will remove now. It's quite a nice looking phone. It has a metallic build and the build quality also seems to be nice and it's quite heavy as well and giving you that uh, solid feel. I'll start off with the physical aspect of the phone. We start off with the front display, which is a 5.5 inch full HD LCD panel, I believe. At the bottom we have the capacitive buttons which light up when you touch them. You will see that once you power the phone up. And we also have this prominent home button over here. At the top we have the front camera which is an 8 megapixel unit. And this is the earpiece. I believe we also have some sensors at the top of the device. On the right side we have the volume rocker key and this seems to be the power button. And at the bottom we have the speaker grill. This is the USB Type-C port and this is the primary microphone. We have the SIM tray on the left side of the device and moving on to the top we have the 3.5mm audio jack. At the back we have this uh, primary camera which is a 13 megapixel unit along with an LED flash. The Zook branding can also be seen here. Now talking about the specifications of the device, this phone is powered by a Snapdragon 801 chip which is a tad old. Apart from that, uh, we have 3 GB of RAM and 64 GB of internal memory which is a good thing. But the downside is the fact that you cannot expand the memory any further because there is no micro SD card slot inside. Uh, the graphics department is handled by an Adreno 330 GPU which is also uh, slightly old. Moving on to the software part of the phone, this phone uh, runs Cyanogen OS 12. This mind you is not the latest version of Cyanogen OS which uh, has currently moved to version 13. So this is based on Android 5.1.1. So uh, let us power on this device and check out the UI and other aspects of the phone. So this is what the home screen of the Zook Z1 looks like. This is the standard uh, Cyanogen OS home screen where the apps are stored vertically. Let us uh, go into the settings menu and check out the other aspects of the phone. In the about phone settings, we have the Cyanogen OS version which is 12.1. The Android version is 5.1.1. Now we believe the phone is due for an update to Android version 6.0 and we should also move the Cyanogen OS to version 13. I'll just go back and we'll check out the storage capacity. So in storage we have 54.69 GB of space available out of the box. This is 
out of the 64 GB of memory that the phone comes with. Now, once again, I want to remind you that this phone does not come with a memory card slot. So you are stuck with this internal memory, but then why I cannot complain because 64 GB seems quite abundant at this point of time. So that was the quick unboxing and a quick first look at the Zook Z1 from Lenovo. And the phone is scheduled to launch by uh, May 10th. So if you have any queries and questions regarding this device, please do let us know in the comment section below and we will also be reviewing this device in the days to come. This is Rahul Srinivas signing off for MySmartPrice.com. Thanks a lot.